this panel and our direction to your great name. We thank you for a time and power like this, Father. We are grateful to gather before you to hear from you and not from men. Therefore, Lord Jesus, I decree that you increase that step down that you step in, step, step down that you step up, and step out that you step in, take over the pulpit and my serve, O God, and let only your name alone be glorified to tell this in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. And so, Father, I bring my fire before you. I beg you to set my fire. Those sins that has been recorded against me from my mother's womb. Daddy, I plead for mercy, God. Most especially as I stand here, Lord. If my name has been taken out from the book of life, Daddy, I plead for mercy. Have mercy on me. Wash my name in your precious name. Write my name back into your precious book of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pray for your children that are gathering before you as well. Bring them fire from their mother's womb to this very point before you. Is there any how that name will be taken off from the book of life? I beg you, Jesus. Show mercy. Have mercy upon them. And write all their names back into your precious book. So the rapture will not take place of that. We be led behind. This is my prayer, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, because you have taken over everything, past of darkness, misinterpreted of the word of God, and be held captive in Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Just give me some. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 7, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, I want us to read verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth. As it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Then shall what the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. It's a pity that humanity that we are will refuse to know that what we are taking care of most is a dust. That is to say, if you find out because the word of God is ever true, you will find out that where you are standing, that time beside your house, you will find out that it is somebody, human being, dust. But it's unfortunate, it's what we cherish, and it's what we pamper, and it's what we take care of more than. The one that is most important. Where we may say that the dust, who are the dust, many youth as that is listening to me, and I that is speaking, we are all dust. We are all summer. That's why the Bible said, I mean, the topic before us this morning said, 
where we where we be the final destination. Where we be the final destination. There is something that is not mentioned in that place we read. It it mentioned to he have told us where two of them we go. But it, the, I think the, the, the third one, the reason why he didn't measure it is because he don't know where I, you and I have decided for that one to go. We already know that the body must return to where it he was taken from, which is the dust, the earth. And he has also made us understand that the spirit must return to God no matter how you live your life. But the other one, which is the soul, he leaves that one for us to answer it because it's what, how you live your life will determine where will be the destination of that. So, that is why the question before me and you is asking, where will be your final destination? When he says so, where your soul? Where will be your soul final destination? See, the spirit must return to God who gave it, and the body must return to where, uh, uh, where he was taken from, which is the air. But the soul, where are you sending it to? Where am I sending it to? Is what is asking you and I this morning. Where am I sending the soul? Where are you sending the soul to? Because he told me and you in the book of Hebrew, chapter 9, verse 29, I mean, verse 27. Hebrew chapter 9, verse 27. And as it is appointed unto man once to die. But after this, what follows the same the judgment. What will be the judgment of your soul? After you have appeared before the judge. What will be the final judgment for your soul? Well, what that thing you shall give account, they shall notice about you and ask, ah, where is it taking me and you to? Will it be, will, will, is it going to be said, guilty or not guilty? And what determines whether it's going to be guilty or not is how I and you are living our life now. Where will be our final destination if rapture take place now? If rapture take place now, anyone that is left behind, I believe that person should just know where he will, where he will find himself. Because if they said three days, When coronavirus came out, I was saying how people were loading their home. Their home, their home become like became like store, a place where they, they are like a supermarket in, in town. How at that time there was still a freedom. Now, for several years, how can you? able to survive it for several years that you will not take the mark. We can still buy and sell now. During the new, when coronavirus came up in it, we were able to still buy and still sell. So come on three days, try fasting. You know how you struggle. Then, after after, how will it have the 
So if you and I greet our last breath now, where are we heading to? Where is our final destination? Where is our final destination? The thing that gives her answer to it is not by me saying it or by you saying it. What answer that question is my character. It's the way I am living my life. It's the way you are living your life that gives answer to it. It doesn't matter what you are saying from your mouth. It doesn't matter what I am the last a professing with my mouth. If I say heaven, it's my life in agreement. It's my life according to what I am saying with my mouth. It's your, it's your, uh, your, your inner man, the same thing as you are saying it, and my soul. As I said, I am a born again. Am I sure my inside is a born again? Question for me. As I am telling you, sister, and so, so, and so, brother, so, so, and so, I am a born again Christian. Am I sure inside of me, the inner man is a born again? That will determine my destination. That will determine your destination. It's not what we pronounce from our mouth. But one thing we must understand, the spirit must return to his maker, and the body must return to where he was taken from. But the other one, the soul, where am I sending it to? Where am I preparing it for? Where are you preparing it for? Do we know that it's the appointed unto man to die once? And what follow is judgment. What will be your judgment when you shall appear before your maker? What will be my judgment when I shall appear before my maker? The Bible tells me as you read in the same book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14. For God shall what? Bring every work into what? Into judgment. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, this is what determines my destination. This is what tells you your destination. Not what I pronounce. Although the Bible, I know we may say, the Bible says that what I hear you say is what I do for you. Yes, it's true. But if that is so, so that I hear right now, it will be there. That is why it's not any man business. If I should, when I am alone, when nobody is seeing me, it's not life for me to live a life as I want to live it. If I shall go, sister, so so and so, brother, so so and so, my pastor and whosoever is not yet seeing me. But remember the Bible is just. Just to us now, but with every word secret thing, that thing I was sitting at home saying, without anybody with me, that thing you carry, I carry it to that brother and so and brother so so and so to discuss the back the other person. Although the person you were talking about was not there. Every single thing. So, where will be our destination? It's left for me to live holy, secretly and openly. It's left for me to say, Sister, so so and so, I love you. But when I go to my secret, my closet, when this, where the sister and brother is not seeing me, 
It's not love for me to start it on my heart. I don't do what I did on Saturday. They will not say we are not loving. There is no problem. If you like, if I like, I love. Open it and secretly, if I like, I love all the way to it and live in another way. Secretly. But the Lord is saying to every day. Whether it be good, whether what you were saying about me was a good thing, whether it was a bad thing, is not, it doesn't concern me, it doesn't concern you. But remember, there is a 30 day program. Where they shall tell you, <laughs> brother so so so. They shall open white screen for me and you don't see. See what how you love this sister, that, that brother. When you were with him, with her. But when you go to the closet, look at the way you also live. Although no, you were alone, but you, you never knew. You were never alone. There's, there was a there's unseen eye ah, that nobody sees, but he sees everybody. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Where will be our final destination? The Bible tells me, and you, where we know very well, the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Verse 21 to 23. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, says that, brother, are we sure we what that thing we are doing is the will of God? Are we sure that thing we are saying is secret is the will of God? Many will say to me, in that day, it's not for me to that man was alive. We never knew God. The Bible is not talking to a Muslim here. It's not talking to the Hindus. It's not talking to the Hare Krishna. It's not talking to the atheists. It's not talking to the Lady Dodo. It's not talking to the, those, the whatever they call inside. But it's talking to those of us who profess that we are a born again. Lord, Lord, have we not what prophesy in the name? Because you know it's only born again that prophesy, you know. We have we not done this in the name. And in the name, have we come out devil? And in the name. So many wonders in this existence. And when we when we like to fail, and then we like to fail, unto them, I never knew you depart from me. Be a work in iniquity. It doesn't matter. The final judgment will determine whether you are being sentenced to. Life, lifetime in prison or six months in prison. I just say that there is no, if everyone in hell, they are in life, let me put, let me put this in lifetime in prison. Lifetime in tormentation. There is no set date and there they will remain. That is why we are asking. All the Lord is asking both the one that is speaking right now and the one that is listening, where will be the destination? What will you hear when you shall appear before your maker? There's a song that said, if you want to really live to heaven, you better be heaven ready because of my conscience. Are you conscious of heaven? If you are conscious, if I am conscious of heaven, I will live, I will be genuine when that brother and sister is not there. When I, when we are in public, I will be genuine to that brother and sister. When they are not also with me, I am alone. I am in secret.
be bad. I will be bad. I will also be genuine to him or her. Why? Because I know there is a judgment ahead of me. Brothers and sisters, are you the one telling God, hey, you can see what I'm, I am doing, the miracle? Or the miracle you and I is performing? In it. Is it in line with the word of God? You that is performing it, I that is performing it, am I doing it in holiness and righteousness? Because if not, it is said, they shall call them a walking stone in the midst. The Bible told me as you in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12, I read verse 14. He said, Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which there is no man shall see the Lord. Although the Bible is not against itself, yes, we all may see the Lord according to the book of Revelation. But the question Am I going to live with the Lord? Are you going to live with the Lord? Many of those who, who I hear, they see God. And before and God told them, depart, before God told them, depart, they see God, but they are not living with God now. I, he said, follow peace with God all day. I make sure I am doing that. If I am following peace with all men, with you, with us, with our brother, his holiness attached to it. Do you know what? There are many in the world. They never like anything hot. They are even ready to admit, oh, in order for peace to reign. Oh, 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 okay, okay, sit down, so please die. But as they do, if holiness is not attached to your making peace, to your following peace with all men, it's awesome. Praise your understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible tells me. Told us in the book of Mighty, Mighty, rather, sorry, uh, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter one, I mean chapter seven, verse four, verse one. Because many of us in the book of Second Corinthians chapter seven, verse one, said, "Having therefore these promises." Dearly beloved, those of all that the same God look at the heart, hear this now. Let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh, the act of man, and the spirit, and our spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. If you say your inside is okay, I want I will let you know. That what I see outside of you came from inside. For example, you put on reform, you put on attachment, you put on color. It came from the inside. You are already, you set upon where it is before you wear it out. And if you are telling me also, my heart is clean. Or maybe you wear your skirt that is helping the government to suit their, their community. But your inside, how? Because the Lord did my both in an outward cleansing. Do you have this promise in you? You are the man, it, it, it the matter of you to live holy within our heart. Your inside man, inside man, outward, your outward must be clean. Because that will determine where we be our destination. You cannot tell me your destination will be heaven. When you put on your, your, 
you just get and come every if every every place you pass, you help the community to see the floor. But inside of you, the Bible no wonder the Bible tells us, but inside of them are full of dead men bones. If your inside is full of dead men bones, it doesn't matter whether your trust that you are the scared, the gun you are wearing is not from here to America. It doesn't matter. If you like when you tie your hair, it's very wonderful. When I am using the female, they are they are they are, they are too much to identify Christian than the men at times. Yeah. If you like, let your hand be the 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 shirt the the, 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 the shirt you wear it even cover your finger. If your inside figure is not covered with your living, you are on your own. But destination, nowhere it goes. So let us not deceive ourselves. Let us be cautious. Let us be careful. There is a destination. That is what when our something must know that there is a destination. There is a final destination. If it's not left for me how I should live my life. There's no cause for alarm. The hair is in your head. Brother, sister, at many a time, it's a, it's, a, it's a pity that you want people to be pushing you. For example, many people say, sister, so so and so, brother, so so and so, that when you say over your dead body, you will not forgive no brother. But my chief and I, that there is a final destination. I told some people the other day, we are all in a steady, everybody, every Christian, you are on a steady, in the little steady of a car, you are driving a car, you are driving a I must definitely arrive one day to the place. You must definitely arrive, arrive one day in the place. Every one of us, we are in a steady. Drive in a car, everybody. As long as you are, whether you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, whosoever they are, we are all with our individual car. We are driving our individual car. We must definitely arrive a destination. We are all driving. Everybody on this one. Hey, all we are seeing now that we are talking now. You just you know when you get uh, you are driving on the road, you see sister, sister and so that you know. Hey, you own your own. Oh, 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 how are you? Oh, okay, okay. That is what we are doing now. You talk, you see us, we are friends, we we talk, we talk, hey, sister, so, so, so how are you? That is it, that is that is it. After we finish now, we all log out. Meaning we continue the driving. But your steady, that your car, where do you want you that car? That is what you are talking about. The Bible tells me in the first of time, in the book of Psalm chapter 9. Psalm chapter 9, I read verse 17. Sorry, that my words. He said in verse 17, Psalm chapter 9. He said, The wicked shall what be turned into hell. Final destination. And all the nations that forget, forget not the wicked. Do you know we are wicked? If what Christ did for us is not appreciated. Do we know we are wicked when we are still, when we still carry the name Christ to, 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 to the cross? Sister, brother, how will you feel? Tell me, if you see me, let's say, sister, so, so, and so, you see how when I was naughty, how he take care of me, he bought me a house, bought me a car, but 
one day you will see me fighting that person. You that know what the brother that person did for me, won't you call me a wicked person? Fighting when you know you know that person very well what he did for me. But it's one day you see I'm fighting him, fighting her. You will call me a wicked person. Not the wicked, the other that are the wicked. Though. It's you that taught yourself a Christian that that was fight and that was the case now. That what concerned God never concerned you. The Bible tells me that you. In the book of Matthew 5, 10, which has used that place to run up that, reminds you that the bar, verse 8, he said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I had it, for they shall see God, not only see God, they will also be with God. That is that destination. But my view is that the world will be that destination. It's not left for me to live a sober, a careful life. To live a watchful life and be heavily conscious. The man of God says something the other time. You know, we are we preach the world, we cannot force you, even we that is preaching it, we are in anger. Yes, it's not left for me whether to live by the world that God Almighty has given me a great faith. It's not also left for you, but it's setting it whether you should live by the world. But one thing, remember, no resistance. It is a final destination. We are all dry. But I don't know where you are going to arrive. You know, coming to the way you live. I want you to talk to God. I say, Father, anything in my life that is heading me to a place where I will ever let or be down into the world. Anything that is joining me, every Satan, Satanic, here is every compass set I have set of, on the front of my car. Telling me, drive in this way, and that way is a distortion. But I let that compass be distorted. Help me that my soul will meet you in heaven and live with you in heaven. Pray any other prayer like you maybe want to pray. As we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Lord. Jesus Christ, mighty name, we are praying. 